Hello and welcome. My name is Shannon. My pronouns are they, them. And today we have a fuck anxiety flow. Um, this is a short practice and it's kind of made up of things that I use um, and that I've learned help me during my almost 40 years dealing with anxiety. Um, some of us, our anxiety stays in our head. For some of us, it moves throughout the body and I am a both kind of person. So before I can actually deal with what's in my head, um, I have to let go of what's in my body. And these are a few things that have been helpful. <clears throat> so we're gonna be, it's gonna be a little different today. We're not gonna start with the grounding because if I had kind of the ability to be still for a moment and to connect, um, I wouldn't need this practice. <laughs> so we're gonna start instead with movement. We're gonna start with maybe a little bit of gentle bouncing. So I'm doing this standing. You can do most of these movements or portions of these movements seated as well. So I'm just kind of bouncing from the feet, maybe on the balls of the feet, lifting the heels slightly. You can do one at a time. And then we maybe are gonna bend the knees a bit, kind of let the shoulders, arms be soft, let them jiggle and move. Whew. And then maybe we can bring our hands into it. And the thing is, maybe we're a soft, soft shaker, bouncer, and maybe we're not. I am not. <laughs> I like hard movements, kind of slamming my feet down. I like movements through my hands and my wrists. I like this kind of side to side shaking rather than the up and down. And I'm just gonna kind of let my body do what it needs to do. So any type of movement that we need here. And we're just gonna give ourselves maybe one, two minutes. If you need more, go ahead, pause the video, take more, right? This is about doing what we need for our body. And some of these movements might seem a little silly to do. You might wanna be like, ah, I, don't, I don't think I wanna do that. And that's okay. But I do invite you to also maybe explore a bit of movement allow yourself to do things that maybe you think look silly because they might be helpful for you. <laughs> so this bouncing and most of what we're going to be doing today is really helpful for starting to reset the nervous system. A lot of times with um, anxiety, of course, we're, we're kind of pushed into this higher engagement state, the sympathetic nervous response. Um, and so what we're going to do is move through movements that help us reset that and help us kind of engage more of a parasympathetic nervous response. And some of the things that can do that are these shaking movements. And I'm going to start to slow down a little bit. Maybe start to come from side to side. Just kind of letting the arms and shoulders be loose. Something else that can help us is vocalization. So I'm gonna take a few deep breaths, maybe into the nose if that's comfortable, but it doesn't have to be. <sighs> and release with a sigh or <sighs> anything that we need to get out. <sighs> Beautiful. And from here, we're gonna come into um, another movement that's used a lot also for lymphatic drainment. So draining the lymphatic system or moving the lymph through the body. Um, and this is just a movement that I find helpful. So we're gonna come into kind of like a Tadasana. It doesn't have to be our traditional Tadasana, but we're grabbing through the feet taking a moment and we're gonna bring some movement into the body. I like this movement because it takes a bit of focus. I have to think my way through it, but once you get going, it's repetitive and it kind of gets you into a flow. And that's another thing that can help us kind of engage the parasympathetic nervous system. So I'm gonna start inhaling the arms up, exhaling down. And we can go fast. We can go slow. And once we've kind of got the arms, 
we're going to introduce the lower body. So the arms are going to come up. As they come down, we'll pull the pelvis forward, maybe lift the heels and then come back up. And I'm doing it a little bit slower so I can get the hang of it because <laughs> it can be a little much. And then if we'd like, we can start to increase, maybe drop the arms. Beautiful. And we can do this as many times as we need. This is also really helpful for folks who might um, kind of have had uh, lymph nodes that were damaged through the arms to help move the lymph through the body. Beautiful. And then when we're ready, we might slow down. I'm gonna come back to the arms. Oh, take a moment, dangle, do anything we need to do. Catch our breath. From here, we're gonna move into some half sun salutations. So this is a little bit more controlled movement. We have particular movements that we're making. We're gonna start by setting ourselves up into dasana. For my half sun salutations, I like to bring my legs a little bit further apart than my normal Tadasana to make space for the belly for my folds. <sighs> Might take a few more of those deep sigh breaths. <sighs> and we're gonna work on, if it's comfortable for us, linking breath and movement. And this is again, this kind of flow, repetitive movement is gonna help us work our way into our parasympathetic nervous response. Gonna help release, relax. Beautiful. So we're finding our Tadasana. We're gonna start with upward salute. So on our inhale, reaching our arms up for upward salute. And on our exhale, hinging forward, bringing our hands down to blocks, down to the floor. Beautiful, we're gonna come through a half forward fold, sending length through the back. And on the exhale, coming back down. We might bring a bend into the knees, sweeping the arms forward and up, bringing the hands down through her center and to the sides. Beautiful, we're gonna go about four more times. Inhaling up. Exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, release. Bending the knees, sweeping the arms up. Beautiful, hands to heart center and to the sides. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, fold. Bending the knees, inhaling up. Exhale, hands to heart center and to the sides. Inhale up, exhale fold, inhale half fold, exhale fold, bending the knees, inhaling, upward salute, hands to your heart center, and to the sides, we'll go one more time, inhale up, exhale fold, inhale half fold, exhale fold, bending the knees, sweeping the arms up, Hands to heart center and to the sides. Taking a few breaths here. Noticing the breath coming in and out of the body. Maybe noticing where in the body we feel it. Are we breathing into the belly? Are we breathing into the heart space? There's no wrong answer. We might notice the connection of our feet to the mat. Maybe notice the sensation of the bottoms of the feet. Allow ourselves to ground down through the mat, through the floor, all the way down into the earth beneath us. Noticing that support that it provides, that connection 
Maybe taking a deep inhale. And on our exhale, letting go of everything we don't need. Allowing ourselves to find a moment. When we're ready, we might choose to bring the hands to heart center or anywhere against the body that feels good. Again, take a few deep breaths. Maybe take a moment and thank ourselves for giving us what we needed, for taking care of ourselves, however we need to take care of ourselves. And I'd like to thank you very much for sharing your practice with me. I hope this has been helpful and I hope to see you soon.